Good morning! It's June the 25th, 2021, and we welcome you, Jake's Bounty! I need it in the morning, 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 need it in the morning. Yeah! Need it in the morning, 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 Music director Bill Chase. We'll be talking about him later on, later on in the program. We'll meet the Funky Friday segment, all right? Hold on, let me catch my breath. Inside joke, if you know what that's about. All right. <laughs> let me go take these off right now. Oh, it's too bright. But let me go and thank you for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I'm your host, Jake Hernandez. It is a Friday. And like I said, it is June 25th, 2021. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to the show. Also, I'd like to thank the music today that was provided by once again. Oh, actually, this was by someone different. This was by Bill Chase and his band Chase. Uh, for, this is a song called Get It On, all right? Uh, and they get it on in the song, as you can tell. Also, I want to go ahead and promote... Ray-Bans sunglasses, straight from the swap meet, right to you, and it's a Jake's Bounty, 17 bucks, normally 15 bucks, okay? Also, I want to share with you new t-shirts at Joseph S. Stein right here, concert t-shirts, go again right now in Joseph S. Stein. All right, and let's go right now and get to my bounty, why don't we? Here it is, right here, right here, right now, right now! So tomorrow, get it right here now, right can now. This is Venom, uh, strawberry apple right there, and Gatorade Frost, uh, Glacier Freeze. This all came from one guy, Shivy. Thank you very much, brother. Pepsi right there, okay. Get to crush that one, as you can see. Uh, drinking water, purified drinking water. And we got another one, Venom. And what is this? Mango Michelada Clamato. All right. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if it tastes any good. I probably still won't taste it. All right. I like mango. I don't really care for Clamato. And I occasionally like a beer, but I wouldn't mix it with tomato juice and a mango. Just me, though. Just me. All right, let's go ahead and also show you what I found today in my excursion. That's right, nickel, bam. So now I don't, now I don't need to collect a can. It's five cents right there. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and get into the news. Uh, Surfside combo in. Uh, hold on, get up here, Mickey. Get up here, co-host. Oh, she helped me up. She helped me very much last night when I had a seizure. She came up and licked, licked my face. So, gotta give much love to Mickey out there. All right, greatest co-host ever. Surfside condos in Florida uh, collapses. Ninety-nine people are unaccounted for. Uh, they're still doing some investigating on what led to the collapse, and they'll bringing. We will be bringing you more updates as we have them. Okay. Conan O'Brien says goodbye to Late Night after 11 years on TBS and a total of 28 years together on Late Night uh, TV. He was also known for doing um, The Simpsons. I believe he did other writing, um, directing work. Uh, you can probably put in the comments below if you remember, because I only remember The Simpsons and uh, maybe he did Saturday Life sketches too. I'm not sure. But anyway, he is moving on and... We'll keep you posted on what he will be doing, all right? Reward increases for 2019 Fresno murder case. 53-year-old uh, Ernesto Hernandez has been beaten to death in a central uh, Fresno alley back in 2019 uh, near his home steps, uh, just minutes away from his home uh, on Mayfair Drive. The reward is now $3,500, $3,000 donated by Crime Stoppers, and $500 from the family. Fresno City Council votes 5 to 2 uh, approved budget for next fiscal year for $1.4 million. Actually, that's $1.4 billion, not million, billion, excuse me. 
120 new police officers, 102, uh, 100, excuse me, 120 new police officers, 42 new firefighters, 2 million towards Parks Department and General Fund. Too many twos in there, okay? <laughs> two, two, two. Three arrested uh, in connection to uh, the Kingsburg story where a girl was shot at a park. Uh, not like drive-by shooting, but what happened was like somebody shot off of a, uh, a shotgun south of Athwell Park. And well, bullets have to land and this one landed in a girl. And um, I believe it punctured her lung. And anyway, she is gonna recover, and they have the three people who are responsible for, responsible for it now. Mackenzie Duckworth, at 20, uh, age 18. Marco Nunez, uh, age 24. And 24-year-old Hermino Ramirez uh, shot the rifle south of the park. And more news on what they'll be charged with as uh, we have that news available for you. Okay, well, I want to do go ahead and tell you about the music we heard earlier today. That was uh, Bill Chase. That's right, Bill Chase. You might never have heard of him because he passed away a long time ago, back in 1974, I think. But as you heard, his music is kind of like a jazz rock fusion, some funk in there, and just makes you want to get up and dance or just smile, period. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Bill Chase. He's an American trumpet player and leader of the jazz rock band Chase. Uh, his father had played trumpet and I encouraged him to follow uh, him suit. And Bill also played violin and in drums. He studied trumpet at the New England Conservatory and then also the Berkeley College of Music. Oh, it's a very esteemed uh, school is right there. He played with Maynard Ferguson in 1958 and Stan Kitten in 1959. I'll have to find out who those guys are and look them up and see if they're worthy of me listening to them uh woody herman's thundering herd as i hear me say that i'm probably thinking to myself who the hell am i you know worthy i'm definitely uh not on the worthy status all right <laughs> and uh his first 60s hit was camel walk in 1963 sure wasn't camel toe <laughs> just kidding um he also had a band, a six-piece band from 66 through 1970 uh, that played the Dunes in Las Vegas, all right? 71, he started a jazz rock band titled Chase. They released a debut album in April 71, and that consisted of, uh, in the band, Ted Piercefield, Alan Ware, and Jerry Von Blair, all trumpet players. They could also sing and do uh, vocal arranging. The rhythm section of the band included Phil Porter on keyboards, uh, Angel South on guitar, Dennis Johnson on bass, and John J. Burrid Milthar on drums. Uh, on vocals was Terry Richards. Um, so right there that you heard that song, Get It On, that had Terry Richards on it, all right? That uh, went to 13 weeks on the chart. And that was back in May of 71. Uh, their second album was released in 72 and called Ina, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. It's a Greek term for the word nine. Uh, references how many people they have in the band, which was nine, obviously. Um, their band then went through a ch uh, change up. They had change up on the drums. Now on drums was Gary Smith, and now on vocals was Gigi Shin. All right. Uh, following that, they released their third album entitled Pure Music. Uh, this one had more jazz leanings to it. And uh, unfortunately, when they were trying to get together a tour and they were trying to get together for a fourth uh, album, they had a plane crash. And this happened in Jackson, Minnesota. And, um, excuse me. Um, happened in Jackson, Minnesota. And uh, Bill Chase, unfortunately, perished in the flight, as well as the co-pilot and the pilot, as well as others, including... Uh, John Emma on guitars, uh, Wally Yon on keyboards, uh, and drummer, drummer Walter Clark, all right? You can also go check out uh, Bill Chase and Chase Band over there on YouTube, uh, Spotify, and other music, uh, uh, music, uh, musical media uh, platforms. Blech. All right, um, we're not going to do trivia today. I just wanted to give you a little update. Yesterday, I did have a bunch of seizures, and uh, today I'm not feeling so hot. But um, just to let you know, I'm doing a lot better today, and 
and uh, I thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a rest of a good weekend, and good rest of the day, and Monday, we'll have Music Mondays, I'm having this back day music, okay, so we'll be having that for you, and my news, the bounty, so much more, and uh, you guys have a good rest of the day, and be good to yourselves, and be good to each other. My dog, Mickey's going crazy right now, itching herself on the nose. If you guys can see, it's hilarious. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> uh, now she got up. <laughs> Take my word for it, all right? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here's some of Slab with uh, their new album, It's Always Something, all right? Here we go. See you guys uh, Monday. Oh, wait, this isn't Slab. Fuck. I'm fucking fucking up today. Ah. It's Chase, Bill Chase, let's get it on. Go to Ray's video, get Selena. Get sunglasses. Over here, Jake's Bounty. And also, Jake's Bounty is filmed the Fornicate and Stuff Records production 2021. You follow on his Facebook, his channel, his website. Ring that bell, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, please subscribe. Get it on, get it on, get it on.